one major thing that men wish you knew that they hate stay tuned Welcome on board, my golden nuggets. This is Live Nugget with a fan. This is where we talk about self development, love, relationship. And if you're new here, welcome on board. If you are a returning viewer, welcome on board. And then think about having that subscription button hit and the notification to be a member of this platform so that whenever I upload videos, you will be the first to be notified. Today, we're talking about one major thing that men hate in our relationship with them. And the better we change, the better we'll have a lovely relationship with them. That is nagging, nagging, nagging. No man wants to be with a nagging wife. And the Bible, the good book makes it clear. The good book says, it is better for a man to live in the bush than to be with a nagging wife. Mm. Did you really hear that? That it is better to live in the bush, in the bush, in the bush, than living with someone who nags. What does it mean to be a nagging sister, a nagging wife, a nagging partner, a nag spouse? It means that you are never appreciated. You never appreciate whatever your man does for you. Okay? Whatever he does is wrong. Whatever he does is not correct. Whatever he does is not according to your values and your status. So it is wrong, totally wrong. And so you always talk about it. You talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about, about, about it. Everything is wrong. That is what it means to nag about things. You're always talking about it. I've talked about this in this video, how to get attention of your man back. And I talk a little bit about one magical thing that you, you, you need to use in getting his attention back. That is to stop talking. And I just want to go a little deep here about nagging. A woman and a man come into a relationship and those two people are from different backgrounds. Okay. You're from different environment, different things. You do different things to all to, uh, differently. That means no two people are the same. And so what he is bringing on board is different from what you are bringing on board. And so to have that compatibility in your relationship, there must be an adjustment. Okay. So when it happens that you as the woman, you are always complaining, you are always nagging. There is nothing that this man does that you think is good in your side. You are bringing problems in the relationship and you are turning into a nagging woman. And that is what is not good to be. Nobody wants to be with that person because everybody wants to have the peace of mind in whatever he does. And that's why you get to know. That's why you have to know that they hate this. If you're not careful, gradually that is going to push his attention from you, from you, his love from you. And when it gets worse, it's going to lead into divorce. I want to use this scenario, you know, growing up, my, my dad wasn't a good shopper, okay? When he buys things, he doesn't just look at it well. He will bring home things that are rotten, that they, they've sold to him, and he has bought with, ma with money, right? So my mom will be very, very upset and, and, and always complained about it, that why did you buy this? Why did you buy this? This thing is not good. Look, it's even rotten, and they gave it to you, and you didn't look at it, and you bought it. And I could see from my daddy's reaction that he wasn't happy about it so i told myself that when i get married i was not going to whenever my husband goes for shopping i wasn't going to talk about it i'll just be quiet so that's what i've been doing ever since when my husband does groceries he he is very good buyer than my dad okay but when he does grocery there are at, at times the less that i have done for him he will tell you to make a list for him. The list that I've done for him, he will buy things outside or buy more of the things. It's like, no, I didn't ask you to buy this in my mind. Why have you bought this? I mean, we don't need this right now, but I just, shh, I don't talk about it. And that has been one of the secrets that I do. And so the more he goes and then he buys more. You know why? Stop talking about the things that your man does and doesn't do it well according to what you think. If it is grocery he does and he doesn't do it well, gradually gradually or just have a, a nice conversation with him rather than nagging over it have a conversation with him at the right time okay and you will get to his heart if it has to do with treating you bad um doing things before um disgracing you maybe before people if it has to do with something that he really does that you do not like it take your time don't nag about it 
conversation communication is key so don't be nagging nobody wants to be with such a person if he's not the provider that you want him to be if he's not giving you the protection that you wish that you have talk about it have a conversation about it don't just nag about it if it is one thing that he has done he keeps doing it you keep saying it he doesn't stop get other ways of doing it you can check this video out right there are so many things that you can do to make sure that he changes you can seek counseling pray about it do other things that you have to do rather than nagging complaining bitter complaining everywhere you open your mouth you talk everywhere you don't you just don't even think about what you are saying you and then you say it just stop nagging men hate this be a virtuous woman be the woman who who is able to cool down situations bring the eyes into the house bring be the comforter to comfort things out and then smoothing things out may god be with you as we meet together next time by his grace. Bye-bye.